Hey everyone, Alien Theory here. I'm working on some things for the channel which should hopefully be up soon, but I wanted to make a quick video today to talk about The Movies That Made Us. If you're unfamiliar with it, it's a Netflix original show, an offshoot of The Toys That Made Us, which is a docu-series where each episode talks about a different toy, usually from the 80s and how it was made. The Movies That Made Us, naturally, is about the making of movies from that same general period and has the same format and tone. Its third season has just premiered, and since it's October, the focus has been on some scarier movies. One of the featured movies is none other than Aliens. I checked out the Aliens episode and really enjoyed it. I had seen episodes of the show before and thought I pretty much knew what to expect, but I was surprised by how much they put into this one. If you're a mega Aliens fan, of course you're going to know the general narrative of how it all came together and the problems that sprung up, but I think it's always worthwhile to get the story from different perspectives. There's always going to be new smaller stories, new anecdotes, and maybe some faces voicing their opinion on certain aspects of the making of the film. We get a good deal of those little joys here, and I was really surprised by how many people in front of and behind the camera they got for interviews. They got almost everybody. There's Mark Rolston, Jeanette Goldstein, William Hope, Rico Ross, Paul Reiser, Carrie Henn, and even Ripley herself, Sigourney Weaver here, in new interviews talking about the film. Michael Bean is absent from the interviews, but funnily enough, James Remar is there to talk about his infamous arrest and firing from the production. Bill Paxton is no longer with us, but his presence is felt, many sharing stories about him. And there's a very moving tribute to him as well. Bill, you have no idea how much you are missed. We love you. From behind the camera, there's producer Gail Ann Hurd, SFX supervisor John Richardson, Stan Winston Studios veterans Tom Woodruff Jr., Alec Gillis, Rick Lazzarini, John Rosengrant and Shane Mahan, and Miniatures technical supervisor Pat McClung. Even though James Cameron was not part of this episode, probably too busy editing together the next dozen or so Avatar movies. They do have interviews with his friend and collaborator Randall Frakes, and the legend himself, Cameron's mentor from his Roger Corman days, Roger Corman. We also have the late, great J.W. Rinsler, a strong authority on the making of the film, who literally wrote the book on it. He guides us through a lot of the narrative. It's a fast-paced episode, it concisely follows the trials and tribulations of the production and its ultimate triumphs, including the incredible legacy that still stands firmly all these 35 years later. I think they did our beloved classic proud. The amount of interviews they got is just mind-blowing, and true enough to the spirit of the program, they were able to capture what made it such a special movie, how it was able to stand the test of time, and how it truly was a movie that made us. There's great editing, full of good humor, and it's really, really entertaining. It's definitely worth checking out if you have a Netflix account or have a friend's password. I loved it. I was really, really impressed by it. I highly recommend it. And it makes me all the more surprised that we've actually yet to see an Aliens-focused episode of The Toys That Made Us. That seems like a no-brainer to me. Not just the original 1979 toys that came out with the original movie, but of course that legendary Kenner line of Aliens figures. I think it would be fascinating to hear about how that came off the ground, who came up with what, how it was decided to design all the different animal and insect variants, what variants may have been rejected, and needless to say, the whole story of the Saturday morning cartoon that never was Operation Aliens. That would be amazing to see, but I guess that's a story for another day. For now, we have the movies that made us Aliens Edition, and I'm quite happy with it. Anyway, I hope you're having a great October. I'll see you again soon, and until next time, this is Alien Theory, signing off.